take my hand Let's run away together Don't need a plan Yeah, we've got forever Cause in our hearts We've always known That a love like this just don't exist in fairy tales and dreams. No wishful thinking, just tonight is a night of celebration and joy. And tonight, a new covenant will be formed. God founded marriage. Therefore, He knows the intricacies, the difficulties, and the pleasantries of marriage. Saying yes to you tonight. They'll play Wives, submit to your, your own husbands, as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Now husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. Venice, I wanted to start with that ever since our first day out on the mule kicker catching rosies, that I knew this was something special. And since that day, it has never not been special. And I vow that you will always be the most special person in the world to me. I vow to always care for you, cherish you, and spend every breath I have making you feel loved and honored. I will always be your protector and put the safety and well-being of you over my own. And when the day comes, I vow to be the best father to our children that you could ever imagine. I vow that on the days that you're being a bit of a weenie, I will always bait your fishing hook, take the fish off for you, and even sometimes let you think that you outfished me. I've said it a million times already, and I will never stop saying it. But I love you, Venice, and I vow that I will never stop loving you with all that I have. You have my heart. Tyler. You are the sweetest man, making the world a lot brighter. Not just for me, but for anyone lucky enough to know you. Today, with our closest loved ones as my witnesses, I vow to always be your favorite fishing buddy. <laughs> I'll stand by you through every tangled line and bait switch. <laughs> Knowing that patience is as much a part of our love it is, as it is a part of fishing. I promise to keep our love lively and our, bo our boat steady. And I vow to always remember that the best catch in my life is you. Venice, I give you, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my covenant with you as a symbol of my covenant with you. And the promises I made to you. And the promises I made to you. May this ring be your reminder. May this ring be your reminder. That no matter what. That no matter what. I will be here. I will be here. With you with and love you. And love you. And love you. Tyler. Tyler. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my covenant. As a symbol of my covenant. With you. With you. And the promises I made to you. And the promises I made to you. May this ring be a reminder. May this ring be a reminder. That no matter what. That no matter what. I will be here with you. I will be here with you. And love you. And love you.
With that being said, it is my honor and privilege to pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Corbett. Tyler, for the first time ever, <laughs> you may now kiss your bride. What we appreciate most in Tyler is his love for Venice. He always has her back, no matter what, and she has his. I had the privilege to see their love grow. Tyler making sure Venice has lunch every day, of course. Venice being skilled in buying his clothes since Tyler absolutely hates shopping. As Venice, her parents, we are thrilled about this marriage. Turns out there is a man that is good enough for our princess. Nobody knows what the future will bring. There definitely will be the, some challenges on your path, but as long as you both keep holding hands while driving and every conversation ends with I love you, I think you guys are gonna be just fine. I love you both. When I met Venice, I'd known Tyler for about four years. I knew they were about perfect for each other because they were inseparable from the day that I met them. Literally, I couldn't get rid of her if I tried. That being said, I've known both of them for a really long time, and it's been a great adventure to watch them both grow as people, to watch Tyler go from a Call of Duty wearing, playing, Chaco wearing person to a homeowner, a boat owner, and a husband. It's also great to see that despite the amazing things these two people have accomplished, they're still the great genuine people I met when I first met them all those years ago. These are people that when you look at them, if you need help, you can ask for advice. If you're in a troubled spot, you can talk to them. Or if you just want to share a laugh, you can give them a call and they'll laugh right there with you. Perfect scene.